When tornadoes strike and most people head to indoor shelters, a special breed of men and women race towards the storm instead of away from it. These dedicated professionals have one of the world's most extreme jobs and are willing to risk their own lives to save the lives of others. I have a lot of people ask me, why chase tornadoes? It's just something um, that invigorates me. It's something that gives me life. May 7th, 2016, a series of tornadoes touches down across eastern Colorado. Storm chaser Gabe Cox is on the hunt. He's turned a lifelong obsession with weather into a part-time profession. High Plains magic. The first storm that we encountered was a tornado that went through Eckley, Colorado, which thankfully is a town that's just wide open fields. Ripping the ground on drill bits, multi-vortex. But Gabe Cox's day is just beginning. We noticed another supercell that was heading towards uh, the highway we had just come off of. And this supercell was only about 15 minutes down the road. It's coming down, it's coming down. Sometimes it's a chance turn down a country road that can lead to the biggest discoveries. What started out as a, a little rope tornado all of a sudden becomes this violent cyclone, wider and wider and wider. The good news is that thing sat out there where, where it doesn't hurt anybody. When you see a tornado up close, it just seems otherworldly. Gabe says safety is always priority number one, but how close is too close? For storm chasers, it's really important that they keep their surroundings in mind. There are all kinds of other hazards. There's falling debris, there is lightning, there's hail. And one of the maneuvers we like to take as a precaution is to come in behind the tornado, and that way the tornado is always moving away from us, and we can safely follow behind. Real experienced storm chasers know how close they can get and where the storms are going. I personally wouldn't want to be this close, a little too close for comfort for me. This, this is way too close. It looks way too close. Crazy enough, we weren't the closest ones. There were two other storm chase vehicles that uh, inched up a little bit closer to it. The footage is a little deceiving because I was zoomed in. It looks like we were all right up onto the tornado, but everyone there was playing safe and they were using caution. What's really incredible about this video is the fact that this tornado was only rated an F2, but look at the tremendous velocity. Look how fast that wall of dust is moving across the screen. This tornado is just a beast. It is a monster. 